is you won't see on any other station. All right, we're going to check in with John a little bit later on. Right now it is 619. Got to talk about the opioid and heroin epidemic uh, hitting one community in Ohio pretty hard. Employers are struggling to fill jobs. That's because too many people are failing drug tests. Community reporter Lauren Wilson looks into why it's happening and what's being done to stop it. Signs like this you're going to see all over the city of Loudonville. Some jobs are even going as far as to offer special incentives just to get applicants attention. And now community members are taking this addiction issue into their own hands, trying to start with kids before the job seeking process even starts. Uh, we are the second largest employer in Ashland County. So off the top of qualified applicants, people were trying to hire we have about 15% that can't pass the drug screen. A community overwhelmed by drugs. There are so many kids that I, if I wanted to right now, I could call and be like, hey, can I come smoke with you tonight? And they'd be like, oh, absolutely. But now those living there are taking action. You know, kids are our future. And if we don't invest in them, it, it hurts everybody. So the school is teaming up with community volunteers called the Redbird Resilient to start a drug-free club, an incentive-type program. We celebrate not doing drugs. Getting local businesses to give out freebies throughout the school year, as well as one-on-one -on -one mentoring. So as they stay drug-free, the hope is so will the community. The more resilient we can make our community, the better we will be in fighting things like addictions. The drug-free program will be offered to students in school this September. Lauren Wilson for the E-Team. And still ahead, one major subway system is about to become